Welcome once again to the Club Runner video tutorial series. In this episode, join me as we walk through the Club Runner Contacts module. The Contacts module allows you to create a list of non-member contacts and organize these contacts by group. In this video, we'll learn about the uses of the Contact module. We'll find out how to add contacts, how to use contact groups, how to create custom contact groups, how to import and export contacts, and how to include contacts when sending an email. With the addition of the Contacts module, we've added a new dimension of functionality to your club communications and improved your ability to connect outside your club. For example, you could create a contact list group for prospective members, or club sponsors, media contacts, community partners, and much more. You can access these contacts and contact groups when sending your club communications, including the bulletin. To access the Contacts module, you must be logged into your club website. You must have an access level of at least 60 in order to utilize the contacts when sending a bulletin. An access level of 50 or better is needed when using contacts with email services. Once you are logged in, simply click on the Contacts tab. Then, click on the Manage Contacts or Manage Groups link, depending on which function you wish to access. For this video, we'll get started with the Manage Contacts link. This brings us to the All Contacts page, where you may view a complete list of all your contacts. You can sort the contact list using these sorting tools. For example, if you wish to list the contacts alphabetically by first name, click on the First Name Sorting Tool. Immediately, the list is reorganized. You may also view the list in Photo View by clicking on this icon. If any of the contacts have a photo assigned, you'll be able to view that photo in the contacts list. To return to the default grid list, click on this icon here. We'll start by creating a new contact and then learn how to use other functions on this page. To add a new contact, click on the Add New Contact button. This launches an Add Contact pop-up. Here you may enter the contact details for your new contact. While only first name and last name are required fields, remember that you'll need an email address if you wish to communicate with this new contact through Club Runner. Once you have entered these details, you must confirm that this contact has given your club permission to communicate with him or her. If you do not have that permission to email, you will not be able to save the contact. Even if you have obtained permission to send email to your contact, each email you send includes an unsubscribe link. Using this link, your contact can remove themselves from your emails at any time. When you're finished, click Save. If you wish to discard the contact's details, click Cancel instead. Clicking Cancel returns you to the All Contacts list. When you click Save, you are taken to the Contacts Profile page set to the Personal Info tab. Here you may edit their personal details and add additional addresses, emails, phone numbers, and other details. When you click on the Settings tab, you have the option to set up a website login for this contact. Most contacts will not need a login, but this is a useful tool for any non-member volunteers that are actively involved in your club. Providing them with a login makes it easier for them to register events or volunteer tasks on a regular basis. You can always remove these login privileges if your contact no longer requires them. By clicking on Privacy, you have the ability to edit the contact's communication preferences. You'll see a list of email types, each with a checkmark next to it. If a given email type is checkmarked, it means the contact can receive emails of this type. When you add a new contact, all these options are checked by default. If you don't want your contact to receive emails of a certain type, simply click on the Edit button below the list. A pop-up window launches. Simply click on the check marks next to the email types. When you're done, click Save. To return to the All Contacts page from the Contact Profile, click on Go Back. You can see the newly created contact here in the All Contacts page. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a column labeled Actions. The functions available under this column allow you to edit, assign, or delete a given contact. Click View to open a contact's profile, where you can edit their personal information as I outlined earlier in this video. To access other features, click on this arrow to open a drop-down menu. Use Assign to assign the contact to a contact group. We'll find more about those next. Click Delete to remove the contact from your contact list. Remember, all their information will be deleted, so only use this function if you are sure you want to remove the contact from your system. 
Now, let's learn about contact groups. To access your groups, click on Manage Groups. The use of contact groups allows you to organize your non-member contacts into lists reflecting their role in the life of your club. The module includes a number of pre-generated groups, known as system groups, and you may also create your own custom groups. For example, if you have a number of prospective members who wish to receive information about new member events, you could create a group for them. Or, if your club often gets in touch with local media outlets, you can create a media contact group. First, we'll look at the pre-created system groups. System group contacts are automatically assigned to these system groups by Club Runner. You can view your current system groups on the left side of the Manage Groups page. There are five basic system groups. Non-members who have subscribed to your club bulletin through the sign-up widget on your homepage are placed in the Bulletin Subscribers group. Individuals who have been inputted into an attendance module as having attended a meeting as guests are placed in the Meeting Guests system group. Members and non-members alike who advertise on your site are automatically entered into the Sponsors system group. Non-members who have signed up for volunteer tasks are assigned to the Volunteers system group. If you click on the name of any system group, you are taken to the group's page. Here you can view all members of the group. You may not assign new members to a system group as they are added automatically by Club Runner. You may view the contacts profile by clicking on View here. Or you may use this drop-down menu to assign them to a new contact group or delete their information. You can also discover more details about a contact's involvement with your club by accessing their profile and hovering over their group tags. For example, we can see that this contact has attended a recent meeting. These tags are automatically updated based on the contact's registration for events or volunteer tasks. Click Go Back to return to the group page. Now, let's find out how to create our own custom group. The first step is to click on the Add Contact Group button on the top right. This brings you to the Add Group screen. Enter a name for your new group. Remember, this name will be visible to everyone with appropriate access in your club, and other club members with access can also add contacts to the group or remove them. It's important the name be clear so that the purpose of this contact group is obvious. You now have the option to enter a longer description of the group's purpose, along with any notes you wish to make. Next, you may select a label color for the group. This is used to color code the contact lists, making it easier to immediately identify members of a given group. Simply click on the color you wish to assign to the group. When you've finished entering the details of your new group, click Save. If you'd like to discard the information, click Cancel. Choosing either option returns you to the Groups page. You can use the tools under the Actions column to make changes to your new group. You can see who is currently assigned to the group by clicking on View Contacts. You can also add new contacts to the group by clicking Assign Contacts. Let's try that now. When you click Assign Contacts, you are brought to a complete list of your current contacts, including the ones who have been added to system groups by Club Runner. Simply click the checkbox next to the name of everyone you wish to add to your new contact group. Note that you cannot assign contacts to a system group. When you're finished adding contacts, click Save. You'll be returned to the Groups page. You may also edit a group. This opens the Edit Group page where you can change the name, description, and label color for the group. Note that while you're able to edit system groups, you cannot assign contacts to these groups and you can't change how Club Runner adds contacts to a system group. As such, we recommend you do not rename them. You can delete any custom groups you've created. Deleting a custom group does not delete the associated contacts from the system, it simply deletes the group in which they are contained. System groups cannot be deleted. Now, let's find out how we can make practical use of contact groups when sending email and bulletins. You will need an access level of 50 or better in order to make use of contact groups when sending email. When you compose a new email, under the Step 1 heading you'll see a list of email contact groups. You can access your contacts through the contact groups list here. You can send an email to every contact in that category by clicking the checkbox to the left of the group name. However, you'll probably want to target your email to a specific contact group. Click on the plus sign to the left of the group 
to expand the group list. Now you can see all of your system groups and custom groups. As before, you can click on the checkbox next to any group name in order to email every person within that group. Or you can click on Expand List in order to choose specific contacts within that group. When you click Expand List, a recipient list launches in a pop-up window. Click the checkbox name to the name of each person you wish to email. If the checkbox next to a given contact is grayed out, the box is disabled and cannot be selected. This indicates the contact does not have a valid email address or has chosen not to receive communications of this kind. When you finish, click Done. You may now proceed to Step 2 and send your email as usual. For a walkthrough of this process, refer to our other instructional videos or to our knowledge base. Now we'll look at the use of contact groups when sending bulletins. The procedure for mailing a bulletin to your contact groups is similar to the process we just outlined for sending emails. Under Step 2 of the Send a Bulletin page, you are asked to select the recipients of the bulletin. As before, you can send an email to every contact in a given category by clicking the checkbox to the left of the group name. Click on the plus sign to the left of the category name to expand the group list. If you wish to send the bulletin to your Bulletin Subscriber Contact System group, simply click on the checkbox. However, you are not limited to sending the bulletin to the Bulletin Subscriber group. You can select any of your contacts. As before, you can click on the checkbox next to any group name in order to email every person in the group. Or, you can click on the Expand List link in order to choose specific contacts within that group. Note that even if a contact belongs to more than one group, they will only receive one email or bulletin. When you click Expand List, a recipient list launches in a pop-up window. Click the checkbox next to the name of each person you wish to send a bulletin. If the checkbox next to a given contact is grayed out, they either do not have an email address or do not wish to receive bulletins through email. When you're finished, click Done and proceed to Step 3. For more detailed directions on sending bulletins, refer to our Bulletin Overview video or the Clubrunner Knowledge Base. Now, let's find out how to import and export your contact lists. You have the option to import a list of contacts from a CSV file. These files are standard for most spreadsheet programs such as Microsoft Excel. This feature allows you to easily import an existing list of non-member contacts and integrate it with your Clubrunner website. You can access the Import and Export contacts from either the Manage Contacts or Manage Groups page. In this case, we'll access these functions from the Manage Contacts page. We'll start by importing contacts. At the top right of the page, you will see a blue Import Contacts button. Click on that button. This brings you to the Import Contacts page. On this page, you have the option to download a CSV template compatible with Clubrunner. To download our template, click Download Template File in the middle of the page. You may then open and populate this template with your contact details. If you already have an appropriate CSV file, click the Choose File button. Then, select the appropriate file from your computer. Once you have chosen a file, select the file encoding type from the drop-down menu located here. If you don't know what encoding your file uses, select the Auto option. If this results in an error, try uploading the file again with a different encoding option. You must now confirm that you have permission to email all the contacts in this file. Click on the checkbox provided. You won't be able to proceed with the import if you don't click on this confirmation. Finally, click Next to upload the file. If your file doesn't upload properly, you'll see an error message on the screen. Check your file type and try uploading it again. If the file has been successfully uploaded, you'll be asked to confirm the contact details contained within it. You may review how the system has matched each information field in your file to the fields in our own system. If a given field has been mismatched or is missing, it will be marked with this warning icon. If one of the fields is missing or is mismatched, you can choose to match it using this drop-down menu. Click on Select in order to choose a system field to match to a field within your document. If there is no matching field or you don't wish to match them, click Remove. Now, you may review your data to ensure the information has been correctly imported. To skip a contact from the import, unselect the checkbox in front of the name. Remember, for a contact to be successfully imported, 
it must have an associated email address. Once you've finished reviewing the contacts, press Next to continue. On the next page, you will see a list of valid imported contacts. If any contacts could not be imported, they will be listed here along with a reason for the import failure. You are now asked to choose the groups to which you wish to assign your imported contacts. Click the checkbox next to each relevant group. All contacts will be assigned to the same group at this stage. If you wish to assign these contacts to a different group, you may do so after they have been imported. In this case, you may not wish to select a group at this step. As a tip, you may want to split your import into separate files if you wish to assign groups at this stage. You would simply break them up into one file per group. When you're ready, click Finish. On this next page, you will see a confirmation message. From here, you may return to your contacts page or upload another file using these links. Now, let's find out how to export our contacts. You have the option to export a list of contacts as a CSV file. CSV files are standard for most spreadsheet programs, such as Microsoft Excel. This feature allows you to share your Clubrunner created contact lists as desired and to keep a record of contacts separate from your website. You may export all your contacts or only those contacts in a given contact group. You may also filter the contacts you wish to export in a given group. If you wish to export a complete list of your contacts, simply click on the Export Contacts button at the top right. A CSV file is automatically generated and downloaded to your computer. On most systems, you'll be able to locate this file in the Downloads folder, but this may vary according to your operating system and personal browser settings. If you wish to export a specific contact group or contacts within a given group, you must be on the Groups page. Click on View Contacts to the right of the contact list you wish to export. This displays a list of all contacts within that group. Now, simply click on the Export Contacts button as before, and a CSV file is automatically downloaded. You may further filter an export file to include specific members of a contact group. Again, you must be on the Groups page to access this feature. As before, click on View Contacts to the right of the contact group you wish to export. When the list displays, enter the search term you wish to use to filter the list. For example, you could type in a surname. Let's look for the Hill family. You will now see a contact list filtered according to the search term we just entered. Click the Export button and the filtered list is automatically downloaded. That concludes our walkthrough of the Contacts module. If you have more questions or would like more information, refer to our knowledge base at clubrunner.helpserve.com. Thanks for joining me today and check out other videos for more Clubrunner best practices. The meaning of these tiny holes has to be expressed in words and figures. This is done by running the tape through several machines which assemble the information, translate, sort and summarize it, figure the length of your call, apply the correct rate, and, you guessed it, type your toll statement.